Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amita Singh. Today is the fourth session of Elasticsearch. So before proceeding with the session, please uh, subscribe my channel. You can go to the subscribe button below uh, my videos, uh, the red button. You can click on that and you, also, you can also press the bell icon to get the notification of my channel. So let's start with today's session. In this, in this session, I'll be talking, I, this is a continuation of the last session where I have uh, talked about uh, uh, Elasticsearch API and I'll be continuing with that uh, topic only. So I have, there I have talked about uh, document API and the document API I have uh, covered, I have covered all this, uh, all these topics and this too. So in this session, I'll be covering the multi-get API and bulk, bulk API and re-index API. These three, these three things I'll be covering in this session. So I, um, I have already uh, talked about what is multi-document API in the previous session. You can watch. So I'll be covering multi-get multi API and bulk API and this one. So let's start with uh, the practice session of this. Here I have uh, I'm get means multi get. This is how we uh, denote this like I'm get. In this I'm get, we don't need to give the index name. No, we do not require because it's a multi document searching, multi document updation, multi document uh, operation performance. So we don't have to give give here in I'm get the doc uh, the index name types and all that stuff. We, it is not required because uh, this is how we do not this like DOC this is not the type this is documents which we are going to get after performing this operation. I'm get has three terms uh, three things which is required to get the document to search the document that is index name type and ID. What if I missed I do not give the ID name ID ID of like the table I have I do not give the record ID the uh, row ID which I want to search so definitely it will it is uh, you might be thinking it will search all the data so no it will not search in the multi get we require ID we really require ID to get the uh, search values okay suppose I uh, if I do not give the DOC the table name I do not give what will happen it will not search the records. No, it will search. See why? Because control set down here. Because in this index, I already I only have one table. In that one table, I'm searching with the ID. So uh, it it requires the index name. Yeah, index name is must means in which database database my record is present. It if I have only one table in the data in the database. I do not require to give uh, that, that table name because I already have only one single table name. So it will automatically fetch only from that table name on this ID. Now it's an array kind of things. The DOC is array. So here I can give multiple search, multiple conditions for searching, multiple index name, blah, blah, blah. See, like, like this way, I can give multiple documents from where I can get the result and number of documents. It will definitely search. So this is how my mget works. mget means multiple uh, multiple document. It's a multiple document API and multiple get API. Multiple get API is getting, uh, getting data, getting, getting records or document from the multiple index or multiple types or multiple place, right? Like this way, okay. Now hope this is clear. Let's go to the next part that is bulk API. Bulk API means it's a bulk means we are performing some operation uh, on bulk of uh, bulk of documents means I in the in the in in a table I'll be having bulk of records. Uh, uh, I can perform bulk of operation bulk of operations mean, means I can perform update I can perform delete I can I can perform creation at the same time so what will happen it will make my uh, 
result may make my response very faster rate at very faster rate i can get my uh, response so i'll show you over here a simple example of this which i have wrote like it's a underscore bulk yard you do not give to uh, you do not need to write uh, the index name and blah 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 suppose let's remove all this i'll be showing you one by one this is what index creation kind of in this index means underscore index underscore uh, underscore index index name I'll, I'll i'll be giving the name of the index underscore type what is the type of the index uh, suppose i want to give some id at this id uh, post this value in this field like this way i can give right uh, if you don't want to give just write okay see what will happen no request added means here i am creating something but uh, i haven't specified some any record means i in this index i am uh, doing something some operation is getting performed but i am not there is no fields nothing i'm not giving any field it's it's like uh, i'm creating an index but i'm not specifying any field it's something like this now so control z it's got created okay now this is only for creation so i can perform this bulk of operation means delete operation create operation update operation and this one at the same time see it will work this is my test index at the test index i have created something i'll show you i have deleted something which is not found because the id is 2 which is already which is not there in my test document because i have all, only created uh, at id 1 so it is showing not found now i can create one more uh, record at id 3 for creation i can create one more record update i am updating the field 2 to value 2 i am updating on the test document so this is what basically i am telling i can perform n number of operations n number of uh, operations in a single call okay now le let's search it how many records i have see in the underscore id 1 i have two fields in the underscore id 3 i have one field this is what underscore id 3 is and yeah what is the difference between these and this let's check it out because this is also creating something this is also needs to this uh, needs to create some uh, field so let's find out the difference between this now i'm removing i'm removing this one i'll show you then okay suppose i'm just only creating okay let's let's make it test two what do you think it will create it the create thing is only for creating an underscore id at uh, and adding this fields mm -hmm. just check it out so what it does it is creating an index two and it is adding some value at this index so basically index and create it works similar similar way it is creating an index i'll, I'll also search that that thing uh, index two okay see over here you got it and update and uh, delete you are very much fam familiar with this uh, terms so this is how the bulk operation is means we can perform n number of operations at a time also also what if you are giving this space no it will not work so it's it's like uh, space sensitive or what i can say i don't know so you cannot give space between like this uh, like this way you cannot give space uh, just like this way suppose i try see 
I cannot give. Though the cross sign is not showing over here, but still it will not run. Okay. So here I should not give any space. Somewhere I have missed something. Let's see. Mm, control Z. Okay. And let's run. Yeah. Some space problem was there. So I cannot give any extra space over here. Or space or um, slash line, uh, slash and new line. I cannot give a new line. I cannot write anything on new line. Suppose even if, if I'm writing the n number of fields, I have to write in a single line. Not like this, this, comma, this. No, I cannot write like this way. Okay. So this is how our bulk part is. Now let's come to the re-indexing part is the easiest part I can tell you. Re-indexing means... If suppose I have one index, now first understand the uh, understand the requirement where it is required. Suppose I have an index, okay. Now uh, in this index I have multiple records already there. Now I want what I want I want uh, to add some field in that record. I am adding some fields and that fields may impact. Suppose the requirement came later and I'm adding those fields and the field impact may, uh, it can in, it can impact in deletion of all the records. Means if, suppose if I'll add those, that field, new field in the index, that uh, then all the records will get deleted. Or suppose I'm changing something, some format, then all the record will get deleted. So what, uh, what I'll do uh, to, to keep my records in, uh, you know safe place or to keep a copy of my record I'll be using re-indexing means I will create a test test index of that part and I'll be performing the uh, operations suppose I already have the documents something let's take the test one okay in the test one source suppose the test is a source and one another index I'll take test one write it down test one I have something no I don't have any record on test one so I'll create one another record on test one let's test one let's perform all this activity on test one no not all this activity just just one a single uh, operation that is create part leave this suppose I have only one index test uh, two index test one and test two I have missed some uh, something oh space space yeah space i have missed it now i've created the two uh, two index test one and test and i want to um i want to keep my data from test to test one for a safer site, I want to make changes and uh, in the, the test record and uh, it may impact my result deletion. So what I do, I'll transfer, I'll set all the data from destination, from source, source is test and destination is test one. It's kind of copying data from one index to another, basically, it's kind of copy. Control V and yeah, in case of it will copy only if this uh, or the index the structure of the index is same else it will not yeah okay copy this let's get yeah update it yeah it's got successful so in the test one index what i had only one field with the value this now let's check it out what we have right now now we have the similar way what we had in the test index everything is same as it is see test test one so this is how this is uh, what, what the benefit of re-indexing means keeping uh, the data at another place for and or copying the data at some another index test index for just for any purpose it's based on the requirement so that's all for today's session thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel i can post uh, some more videos on ne next video i'll be posting on the search api search api then i'll be covering the index api in this i'll be showing you how to create index in the search api i'll be talking about
in the next video thanks for watching thank you